this is a Merrill guitar. I don't get very many Merrills in. Um, I did. I got Sheva for a while there when he was just starting making guitars, and now that he's kind of gotten into his groove, I don't get as, as many of them. Uh, this is the first one I've seen in maybe, oh gosh, six or seven years. Um, this is a C18. It's made out of mahogany. It's really, really pretty mahogany, as you can see. That's probably a Cuban mahogany or a quilted mahogany or something. Um, it's a really nice guitar. It's really light. Um, construction is really good. For a while there, I felt that on the early ones, I thought the uh, low E pin was too close to the saddle. I mean, some of them were right smack up against the saddle. Um, this one's pretty close, <laughs> but it's not that that close, as you can what it looks like. And uh, it's a very pre-war saddle. I mean, it's a thin saddle, so you've only got so much room on there for the pins. And that's the way it is. The neck is um, one and three quarters, and it's got a pretty good V on it up here. It's a hefty neck. It's heftier than a, a GE18. It feels more like a, a Martin an LSV. If you've ever played an HD28 LSV, it feels like that. It's a chunky neck. It's pretty comfortable, though. The owner wants a low action, so consequently this action is less than 93 thousandths. Um, it's just a shade under 330 seconds of an inch here. Low action, it's a very flat neck. He wants to play up the neck a lot, and so there we go. It's um, consequently, if you heard any buzzes or anything, that's probably because I'm overplaying it. Um, you know, not used to the guitar, but I'm sure plays good. Uh, neck's comfortable, it doesn't feel that wide. It feels um, some one and three quarters, you know, they feel massive, and this one doesn't. It's a very comfortable neck. Uh, overall, the guitar feels great in the arm. Early Merrells were tended to be thicker than a Martin, and this one does not appear to be that. It appears to be, I haven't measured it, but under my arm, and my arm is pretty sensitive to depth differences. It feels good. It feels, it feels good. Everything about this guitar feels really right to me, and what I did to it was refret it. It needed some new frets, and he had some concerns about some other things. There's some finish cracks going on, some things like that. Just like the old Martins, the uh, pick guard is under the finish, and so consequently you got to watch out for shrinkage, um, anything like that. There's a few little finish cracks happening right here. He was kind of concerned that they were going through. They're not. They're just finish cracks. He thought there was a crack up here. Um, there's no popsicle brace on this guitar, but it's not a crack. What it is, it's a glue line. You can see the glue line here. It's probably hide glue would be my guess because it, it glistens like that. Hide glue has a certain glisten to it. And, uh, and I know it's not a crack because I ran lighter fluid on the naphtha. I ran that along here, it didn't come through the top. Uh, there's no evidence of cracks on the inside. So the guitar is solid, uh, which is good news to the owner. And so he had me refret it. I used gold Evo wire, which I've talked about before. Um, this stuff is really, really hard. It's it, about as hard as stainless steel, but it doesn't have the brightness that stainless steel has. It's a very slick kind of wire. Um, it's great. I love it. And it's gold colored. You can't really tell. You know, it's not distracting. In fact, I think it looks great on this guitar because it goes good with the top and everything. But you don't look at it and say, oh, gold frets. Um, it's only when you get to really looking really close at it, you can see, you know, kind of a gold tinge on them. But they're great feeling frets. I really love this Evo wire. And uh, it'll probably last forever now. So... It's a nice guitar. I haven't had this in. I haven't had Merrells in for a long time, and I'm impressed. You know, everybody's got some some growing pains, some changes that they make as they as they do production, and uh, that's a good guitar. So let's play it some more, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to get another one in for a while, so might as well play and see what it is. As you noticed, I uh, have my contacts on instead of my glasses. I'm getting new glasses, and so I have to wear my contacts to my new glasses come in, and uh, I'm not used to wearing my contacts, and it, uh, it's hard to look at the neck on the guitar, because it's everything's kind of different here, so I can't look at the neck on the guitar. Let's play the Gold Rush. <laughs> <laughs> 